And I'm starting a video now. Uh, we're gonna do the, uh, the hive, which we left off with the other day. How's it going? Buzz, buzz. Pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Um, yeah. We're doing the early in the day videos has like, it's, it's ups and downs for sure. Not staying up really late has been better for me because I generally don't do that, but have been lately and it's, it's not working. Yes. Uh, okay. uh, there is one of the uh, Grimkin in here if you're wearing the Grimchild charm. So I'm going to bring that. I'm just trying to decide what else to bring with. Um... Because what I'll do is I'll, um, yeah, I'll keep the uh, Grimchild equipped until such time as uh, I've defeated the, the Grimkin, and then I'll um, go back to the nearest bench and take it off. Yeah. It's not, ter not terrible for what I'll be up to in here anyway, actually. You know, it is kind of terrible, though. Um, Sharp Shadow. I don't, I don't need it until after I'm done with the Grimkin. I want it for the boss. I don't really need it for anything else in the meantime. Do that. Um, I shouldn't die. I say with, you know, some confidence. I really hate those squirming piles of centipede spikes. Yeah, they're they're brutal. Um, you can pogo them. That's not comforting. But uh, no, you don't uh, you don't have to take fall damage just because you're headed for them. There's, uh, the only things I think that are are like that are, are thorns. The, uh, everything else, everything else seems to be pretty safe for falling on it as long as you pogo. Yeah, but my 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 dislike of them is entirely because they are super gross to look at. Oh yeah, they are uncomfortable for sure. Garpy. Spawn. They're indestructible, completely indestructible. Although apparently something has killed one. Um, there's a journal entry you can get for um, for the garpede based on the fact that you can find a corpse. And it's not even just like, uh, oh, this one got petrified or died of old age or something. No, it's a ripped in half garpede. I'd love to know well. why did that. I would love to know, but at the same time, I'd never want to meet it. Right? So there's a bench just over this way, which is, even if I'm not going to be using it, it's good to get all of this out. Okay, well, when you said that there were bees that turned themselves into into drills, you failed to mention that it was like an anus. <laughs> and, and horrific. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Just a stabby butthole. Yeah, just just straight up turn their their rear end into a uh, spirally drill that they're coming at you with. I should have actually gone to the bench, but it's fine. I'll I'll come back to it after uh, after I've got the uh... oh wow, I didn't do anything. Um, <laughs> sorry. After I've got the uh, Grimkin defeated in here. There's something horrifying about those that that poor person that's full of. Be larva. <laughs> I know, I know. It's uh, it's definitely got a uh, Nick Cage thing going on. So, we're familiar with these whispers here. I'm gonna fire one of this up, these up. That's actually. I think the next thing I might do is um, go farming for the rest of the essence I need. I'm torn between that or just doing Queen's Garden. I don't know. Well, I mean, the essence will allow you to... Uh, it's just such an unpleasant looking uh, looking anus sure. of spikes. Yeah, it's inverted. I mean, let's just say it's a bee stinger. And we'll, we'll <laughs> yeah. No, no, because bee stingers are not as terrifying as the anus of spikes. 
Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going out of my way to kill those quickly when, when they're around. It's not that they're uh, you don't have to like panic kill them. They they can be dodged and, and easily kind of you know uh, maneuvered around. But I find that they uh, they will tag you if you're not careful about it. Friends. They come with so many friends. Um, the Grim Child must, must have just missed something because he was shooting at a wall and I was like, what is he shooting at? But apparently nothing. And then there's the Giganto Bees. Oh. It helps if you're facing the correct way when you fire a spell. They do two massive damage, so as a general rule, I'd rather uh, put some spells in them than risk getting hit by them and have to heal too. <laughs> That's a rule of thumb for me, is if uh, if a creature deals two massive damage, rather than brawl it and risk having to heal two masses or more, I uh, throw spells at it. Well, it's, it's more eco economical with your soul. Right. Exactly. Uh, so up here isn't uh, anything per se, it's just a shortcut back in here later. Um, should I should I desire to return, I can come back in now. You don't have to go all the way down to the terrifying squirreling pits of... That's true, although that is... The, well, no, I guess I could come through the, um, through the sewer system now. You know, let's take your pick of growth. Did that. that giant bee? Yep. Oh, oh yeah, there's breakable platforms in here that the bee can break. In fact, um, I'm headed towards one, uh, towards the end of this, where you have to get one of the bees to break it. We well, don't have to, but if you want the uh, things that's hiding, you have to. Okay, so there's our... Grimkin, best to just take it to the ground. Oh, wow. That, that was ouchy. Oh, I think I just missed that shot. There we go. Relatively certain I got that one. Oh, right. I know what that is. <laughs> Wait a second. When they shake, they're doing something. And if it doesn't look like they're doing something, they're creating fire under you. I should take this one out pretty quick. I mean, the flame strike spells are fairly impressive. Yeah. So Grim uses that spell, but it has. Or, sorry, Nightmare King Grim uses that spell, but it has four spells. Well, I mean, it is supposed to be 8d6 fire and 8d6 radiant. There. Taking out. Not too bad. Uh, I'm going to go back to the bench and change my charms, I think. I don't really want uh, what I've got on. I uh, I like the Grim Child, but I, I don't feel like... There's a boss fight I'm going into from here, and I don't feel like the Grim Child's super great for that. Uh, anything? No, that's the wrong way. Anything eventful happen with you since the last recording session? Uh, I mean yesterday? No, not particularly. Yeah, not uh, not much going on here either. I uh, no, <laughs> I've uh, set up my tent on my patio, and uh, that's been did, interesting. Hmm? Did you get the paracord to repair it? Uh, so I actually went with a different idea. Um, I I ran some some ground level poles between the side poles which is where it's been sort of um, squishing mm -hmm. and ran rope through that and that seems to stop it from squishing so yeah well that is good yeah the tent not squishing and flopping over is awesome all right now i want to take that off 
this. I don't know if I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep that. Actually, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm second guessing myself here. Let's go with um, even instead of that. I'm gonna go with something different. I was gonna go one way. Now I'm gonna go another. Um, I'm just gonna go for more of a solid brawl build. Yeah, yeah. Fragile Strength and uh, Quick Slash and Marker Pride are all a, a pretty slick combo for making sure any enemies that get near me get tagged and, you know, reduced to nothing. Especially these swarms of bees that release out of them. Yeah. You know what? I feel like with the amount of soul I'm generating, I would have been, instead of taking, um... Instead of taking Grub Song, I, I could have taken um, Gathering Swarm. Wait, did I take Grub Song? No, not I didn't. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> I was about to say, it's not too late to change your mind, but... Nah, it's fine. I'll just... I'll use my uh, spells on the big Freaky Bees. Got me. Not the worst though. Still got plenty of soul. Yeah, quick slash and marker pride are, are a silly combination. Just uh, practically creates a shield of blades around you. As long as you're not against an enemy that uh, doesn't care, <laughs> like this guy, does not care at all. I can't, uh, I can't wait for the days where we can play tabletop again. Yeah. Some sort of, some sort of you know, D&D &D or Analog 4. I wish I could commit to playing online, but it just doesn't work for me. It's just, it's not the same. Too distractible. Yes. Uh... Which is a shame, because that is basically how I'm getting all of my D&D &D fixes in right yeah, now. I'm just not getting any in right now, because if I tried, it would be um, not fair to the other players. I would, I would not really be there. My attention span can be managed just fine when, you know, I'm in a room with other people. But it's harder when uh, left entire, entirely to my own devices, and, and the other people are, you know, through a monitor. Especially because if I'm home, I kind of expect myself to be able to, you know, do parenty things. Um, yeah. Which is why I do these recordings when everyone's in bed or something, like baby nap. I don't remember what's this way. Geo. Oh, yeah, I, I know what's this way. Geo. And there's um, uh, just a tease about that grub we picked up in the last video over here. It's like, ha, ah, there's a grub over here. How do you get to him? Well, we already did that, so. There is one grub, I think. I don't know if it's in the room coming up. There, it's not even I think. There's definitely a grub. It's just, uh, it's in this room. I think the worst part about the bees that turn themselves inside out is the fleshy pinkness surrounding their stingers. Yeah. When yeah. they turn themselves inside out. Like, <laughs> that's what really screams yeah, spiky anus butt. to me. Yeah. Yeah, there is a there is a fleshy pinkness to that, isn't there? That's kinda of, kinda of morbid. Yeah. Um, yeah, I never noticed them turning their butts inside out. Well funny. that's what you have me for. Ah, I missed it. Um, yeah. So one of those tricky grubs. Uh, there. That without the collector map you'd almost certainly not know it was here. But because I have the collector map, I knew I knew to find this grub here. 
I wonder how I'm doing for grubs left in the world. I don't think there's very many. Uh, there's one in City of Tears, which is an easy to get location I just haven't bothered with. Two in Queen, three in Queen's Gardens, which actually one of those, I think one of those is technically in Green Path, but you have to go via Queen's Garden to get to it. Uh, the City of Tears one's really easy to get. Oh, there's two of them in City of Tears, but they're both easy to get. And then Queen's Garden. So maybe I will do Queen's Garden next and then knock out all the grub stuff. And then visit the Grubfather twice? Just once. Just once. No, no, visit the Grubfather twice. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so uh, I mentioned the, the big chubby bees and how you need to get them to rake something. Yeah. That, that there. So I'll find, I'll find one of those chonky bees and uh, there it is. Hello, chonk. Come here. Oh, wow, that was super lucky. Like, absurdly lucky. I should have had to, you know, work for that a little bit, but I didn't at all. No, it just kind of happened. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah. First try at that, I threw, like, a bunch of attacks at it. I threw spells at it. And it's like, why won't this open? And then I looked it up, because... I thought, oh, at first, oh, okay, there must just be a different way into this. And then I couldn't find said different way in, so I looked it up, and then it's, oh, uh, oh. I need, a st I need a chubby bee to... Yeah. To smash that wall for me. Through here. I believe, I believe, we are coming up on... Excuse me, um, not the COVID folks, um, I'm pretty sure it's just allergies. Come here. Maybe it's the COVID. Uh, yeah, here, here is the Hive Lord. It's not the Hive Queen? No. Nope. Uh, Hive Queen is in fact deceased, unfortunately. Hive Knight, rather, not Hive Lord. Ah. So he has, uh, basically three attacks. Um, this is one of them. And during this one, I recommend you just wail on it. This is another. Dodge through. Oh, bother. Um, should be able to get away with some heals while he's staggered. Take advantage of staggers against every boss. Just wail on him while he does this. Really? And this one, too. Just wail on him. There. He's dead. Um, the only attack that you actively should be dodging, in my opinion, against this particular boss is the uh, charge attacks. I'm also super, you know, I've got the best nail and I've got the, uh, you know, hit harder, hit faster, have more reach, so. Your nail was a deadly nail. Yes, super deadly. Um, leaning into synergy, it's, it's a thing I do. And now you have hive blood. Yes has been mentioned a number of times regarding uh, this is the uh, defunct queen uh, her ghost uh, she has things to say basically sorry kid I'm not your mom uh, <laughs> is what it boils down to uh, I'm not the queen that you're looking for right there's a there's another and she's much she's got a much tougher boss guarding her Find my way out of here. How do we like that? Didn't take long at all, did it? No. No. Um, maybe I will go clean up some grubs. I'll go get the ones in uh, City of Tears and head over to. Actually, I'll do the City of Tears ones last. I'll head over to um, Queen's Garden first. This is wrong. No, no. This is a shortcut out. This is fine. So yeah, talking about, you know, just evading them and, and killing them that way is totally acceptable. Well, yeah, anything that, that blinds itself and then just goes in a straight line in the last direction it saw is pretty easy to dodge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So you keep second-guessing myself about, like, how I want to do this, because City of Tears is just right up here if I wanted to go that way. Ah. 
versus Queen's Garden, which I can get back to easily enough. I just need to go to a, um, what you call it, to a tra uh, stag station. But yes. Although I don't have the one directly into it, I do have one that, uh, yeah, that easily accesses. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go this way. Eventually. So going to go to Kingdom's Edge um, and then take a shortcut back into City of Tears from there. Where, yeah, where I'll quickly scoop up two grubs because one of them especially is easy to get to. So that uh, breakable wall from the hive section was another one of those areas that I was like, there's definitely something here, but you get access it from the opposite side. So it was like, I kind of obsessed over it for a little while. And then later it was like, oh, uh oh, okay. This is how you get there. These are one of those things that once you know they're there, you just have to kind of know the correct way to dodge them. That very last one there will get you every time if you don't um, go up and over it instead of, you know, trying to dash down through the, the hole. Yeah. Okay. So got this way. And I'll go get... Also, they're actually very similar to the inside-out bee butts. What are the birds that that dive bomb you. Same same dodging principle. Oh, okay. Yes. No, not similar in the sense that you can see their innards. No, but that they, they have the exact same attack pattern. They see you and then they dive bomb directly to where they last saw you. Yeah. Uh, and in an absolute straight line, so you dodge them the exact same way. Yeah. They don't track at all. We, uh, unlike certain projectiles like the ones used by the uh, Absolute Radiance and Radiance. <sighs> Since I'm set up as a brawl build, I figured I would just you know, do that. Uh, I probably haven't... There's, there's another um, place to go into here that I probably haven't gone into. I haven't gone in here. I'll unlock it now. So I have a simple case. I could even go in. There's some stuff in there. Yeah, so this place. I doubt I've gone in here in this place. Here. This is, um... You just gotta hop there, and then, whoops, wander into the monster. Um, which isn't much anything, but it's a journal entry. Uh, the gorgeous husk. Yeah. And much bling. Blang, blang, blang! You gotta, gotta get money. So, mm, do I want to get side? You know what? This might be better than Queen's Garden. I'll just get sidetracked a little bit in City of Tears, and then I'll go to Queen's Garden in a separate episode, as it were. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. Did that. So, this place is full of little hidden. Um, so it's the bathhouse. Little hidden stuff all over the place. Um, kind of just a big tower to climb up. You can use the elevator. I prefer being in control of my own destiny. I'll, I'll take the, I'll take the wall hops. There's a couple breakable walls here. I can't remember where they all are. Uh, oh no, it's not even a breakable wall. It's just a walkthrough. Doop. Get a rancid egg. Just Gross. Wrong. Yep. And walk over here and see the chef, and uh, not look too closely at what he's been up to. Uh, making food out of people. <laughs> yeah. Soy like cream. Anyway. Which originally wasn't people at all, apparently. That was just something they adapted for the film. To cook man is a cookbook. Or to serve man is a cookbook. Yes. Yes, it is. It's great. Um, yeah, and then in here, there's another ghost. This one I tend to not kill, because she's actually kind of, you know, pleasant. Unlike the chef. So this uh, this particular place has relevance in game aside from just exploring it as I'm doing right now. Um, if someone has cocked up and given the um, 
banker 2500 geo or more mm -hmm. you will be able to find the banker right here uh, and get all your geo back plus interest you get i think 50 percent more than you put in so i could go do that to you know enhance my money uh and i may at some point this is not that time i'll open that one, which i don't know if i want to go out here can't remember where it goes to. Uh, probably faster. Probably faster to get back this way. Whee. And then. Be really lucky that's not one of the elevators that has spikes on its roof. That's true. So from here, yeah, I might even go. This one has spikes on the roof, though. Um, I might even go fight uh, a boss. A boss which I personally detest, uh, and is pretty universally seen as one of the most unfairly hard bosses for what it does. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. The uh, Watcher Knight is uh, six different critters all at once. Well, not all at once, sorry. Um, two at a time. You fight one, and then by the time you finish the first one, the second one is typically activating, and then by the time you're halfway through the second one, the third one is probably activating, and then you're fighting them two at a time, basically from there on out. Well, and I'm going to get the grub that's there while I'm at it. Up here? Up here. And aside from Watcher Knight being up here, there's a grub, which is why I'm even debating this whole, do I go after Watcher Knight or not? Didn't know until very recently you could break the glass that would normally be there. It's kind of funny. One of those things you can well. play. Sorry, go ahead. I guess it's time for you to fight the Power Rangers. Yep. Five of them at once. But they ninja dance, so you only actually have to fight, you know, up to two of them at a time. Yes. So much murder. Oh, so much. So much murder and casual robbery. They're, um, you know, zombie aristocrats, though, so I don't even feel bad. Like, on multiple levels, I don't even feel bad. Yes, yes, you're just eating the rich. I understand. Eating the zombie rich, no less. I mean, not exactly zombies, but virtually zombies. Yeah, but who made them zombies? Um, the Radiance? So, you're dead. No. Radiance is not related. Um, the Radiance is... I mean, I guess indirectly you could probably blame the... Uh... Hello? Where is this door? Am I being dumb? Um, you could probably blame the Pale King for the Radiance. You need to hit that switch? Oh, there we go, yeah. Uh, for the Radiance getting all mad and ruining everything. It's one of those like self-fulfilling prophecy situations. I don't know. Do you mean a prophecy? Basically, yes. Jump over. Heck. That amuses me. Okay. There. There's that door. Um, and this, I believe, is yes. This heads up to Watcher Knight and to um, Grub, depending on which side of the room you go to. Hey, you. Oh, that was poor timing. You know what? There. Just brawl my way through it. But yeah, depending on which side of the uh, hallway up here you go through, grab on one side and watch your night on the other. Boss fight on the other. Yep. Uh, and there's like a a lock room for the grub. Not here. 
It looks like it's there, but it's not there. It's here. My <laughs> Sorry. My cat got stuck trying to get her butt out the door. She thankfully figured it out for herself, but I thought I was going to have to rescue her. Wow. He just... Your timing is not on point with these guards today. No, this is not uh, voting well for the Watcher Knights either. So they are a hard boss. Not, not the hardest boss, but a difficult one. I can hear that grub. Yep. Grub is rescued. Down we go. So there's three grubs left in the game, and they are all, all in Queen's Garden. In or connected to Queen's Garden. So, Watcher Knights. I said there are six of them. Um, that's true, but there's a caveat to that. There's a way to reduce it to five, and I will demonstrate that immediately. Breakable wall. Droppable chandelier. And then there were five. You literally just killed them with a chandelier? Yeah. And then... Then, right. This one's gonna activate first, and I'm going to Dream Mail and immediately get more soul. Cool. And one down. Alright, right, and I'm gonna Dream Mail again here. For more soul. And I'm trying to take advantage of as many invincible frames as I can, which is why I'm using uh, Descending Dark much, <laughs> as well as, um, oh, that's, as well as the, um, Shattered Ash, those are invincible frames as well, oh wow, that guy got hit a lot by, <laughs> by that one spell, I'm making this look not as hard as I think I made it sound. Yeah, because you just won. Yeah. Um, wow, yeah, fairly handily. Uh, you know what? Let's go do it. Let's go wake up a dreamer. So they were trying to defend some kind of seal. Right. They, According to your dream nail. Yeah. Boom. Uh, not the hollowness seal. <laughs> uh, up here is one of the three dreamers. Uh, this is notably like the hardest one to get, uh, according to like most people, including myself. Um, just exploring a little bit. There's nothing over here. Um, the other two are ones in Deep Nest and ones uh, ones in Fog Canyon. And what is the significance of the Dreamers? The three Dreamers seal the Hollow Knight so that the Hollow Knight is safe from tampering which, you know, mostly a good thing except the Hollow Knight didn't work uh, so the Hollow Knight seals away the Radiance oh, there's a lore tablet here I'm not going to inspect it but I wanted to demonstrate that it's there uh, I gotta go all the way back down yep all that for a lore tablet that I'm not even going to interact with but, um, so the Hollow Knight is, was, uh, engineered to seal away the Radiance, uh, but was flawed, and the Radiance is indeed leaking out, allowing this infection to, you know, creep through the crossroads and everywhere else. Uh, basically the downfall of the kingdom. Yes. So the, the, oops, the, uh, Dreamers are supposed to prevent the Hollow Knight from being interfered with. Um... I have a I have a question from from my assistant. She's wondering what a word spells. Twitter. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a little yeah, little telescope there, and the first of the dreamers. Boom. So we go inside. These dreamers are actually like set up to look like they're going to be a boss fight or something. 
and then you come in and it's like, oh, gone. The boss fight is pre-dreamer, not never the actual dreamer. All right, I have to do something for that, don't I? I wonder, like, if there's a, a fail condition of you just waited too long and, and don't do Maybe. that thing. <laughs> Presumably, worst case scenario is it would kick you out and you'd have to start over. Because um, otherwise you wouldn't be able to beat the game. You need to beat all three dreamers uh, to uh, unlock the Hollow Knight and finish the game. One down, two to go. At which point I could go and get the, uh, why am I doing this? Gravity's faster. Uh, I could go and get the uh, uh, basic ending of the game, but I'm planning to do the um, radiance-based ending. So. Because that's your preferred ending? Yeah, it's my preferred ending. Uh, and I, I haven't as of yet got the fourth or fifth ending. There's five available in the game obviously um, based on that statement uh, so the first is just basically finish off the dreamers and, and go get them um, the uh, second and third endings are available once you get the void heart um, fourth and fifth endings are available through uh, Godholm haven't gotten through the Pantheon of Hollowness. I haven't even gotten through the Pantheon of the Night yet. I've gotten through the other Pantheons. Um, but. Yeah. Uh, let's go this way. Slam into a door. Door's open. No. Um, so instead you'll slam into a wall. Yeah, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Where am I? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go over to the uh, city storeroom. I'm, I'm really not sure if... Uh, yeah, I don't want to commit to uh, going to Queen's Garden in the same video as all of this I've already done. Uh, I mean, that's fair. I do, I do want to get a little more done, though. I would mentioned essence farming, and... Oh, actually. Whoop, about face. Essence farming, uh, relative to where I am. So let's take off Quickslash. <coughs> Excuse me. Quickslash is not going to do anything for me here. Um, I don't want you... Do I want that? Do I want that? I'm, um... I'm going after a dream boss. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a good setup. Uh, there's a dream boss version of, nope, not that way, of the Soul Master, uh, who I think you've seen. I think you watched the Soul, Asi er, Soul Asylum. This is not Soul Asylum. Soul Sanctum video. Soul Asylum, the yes. band. Yes, yes they are. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so back through here, there's a, a upgraded version. Upgraded is the right word. Version of the uh, Soul Master, known as the Soul Tyrant. Uh, significantly faster moving and more aggressive. Uh, more hit points, which, you know, makes sense considering you're probably not coming back here to deal with them until you've upgraded considerably. Ah. But I'll go deal with the I mean, the bosses is here just kind of, or the enemies here just kind of blow. <laughs> they, uh, they, they go down pretty quickly now. Oh, yeah, that part, sure, but I meant the part where they just kind of show up out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, they either teleport or they show up out of the floor or otherwise they're just kind of obnoxious. Um, 
but they're fragile. <laughs> Swap. Gone. I think I think I just keep going in a straight line if I recall correctly. Yeah. And then drop down here to where I last slew the Soul Master. And dream out the corpse. <laughs> The good thing about these dream bosses is failing to defeat them doesn't count as dying. That means that your fragile charms and your steel soul run will not be ruined by failing to defeat these bosses. So you can always try them, you know, if you think you might have a chance. Is he a spider? Uh, I think he's a beetle. Maybe a bed bug? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Emo phases. The worst. <laughs> I mean, it's as hard to kill as a bed bug. It's, uh... I think uh, one has no no uh, grounds to argue that he's much harder than uh, the original form. I keep uh, dodging into that ability. Yes. Oh, get him. Uh, you know what? I got two hits in. It was a fair trade. Ah, that shockwave really travels. Well, that was dumb. That's okay. I'm allowed to sometimes pull the dumb. Um, those are not actually indicative of boss health. Uh, those are called stagger uh, animations. And they happen after a certain number of hits. So don't let those fool you into thinking, oh, I'm almost there. But I know that I've got uh, some good nail strength. So if I've got a stagger, I am pretty close to there. That's the best way to deal with that that I've found. Just pop in, take one hit. There you go. So now, as with last time. A surprise phase two that's not really a surprise because you were expecting it. Ah, I was really trying to get some invincible wind frames in there. There you go. There. Using the. Uh, very spell you learned from him the first time. Get invincibility frames to avoid his projectiles. While I find that invincibility frames aren't necessarily a reliable way to avoid uh, melee attacks, especially things that are going to be repeated, they're great for pre like predictable long-ranged attacks. Boom. That gets us up over 1200 essence. Yes, it does. And from here, I'm going to go up to Forgotten Crossroads and fight another uh, dream boss similar to that one. Uh, it's an upgrade of the very first, like, true boss we fought, the False Knight. This one is uh, Failed Champion. Just trying to fumble my way through here without getting eaten by these. Mistakes. What an enemy, eh? <laughs> Just, yeah. The, uh, failed experiments of attempting to achieve immortality. The, uh, yeah. The failed champion is, 
uh, I think I tried to fight him in an earlier video and was just like, okay, you know what, I'll get some upgrades and come back. Because he's not a difficult fight by any means. Uh, ah, do I, I need to, no, I can go this way. Um, leave me alone. Um, not a difficult fight by any means, just um, a lot faster than the earlier version of him. And I, I like to have a little bit more maneuverability than what you have at the first time you can access him. Wait, no. No. Other way. I'm gonna take the, um... Oh, come on. I'm gonna take the, uh... Da -da -da city storeroom station. Two forgotten crossroads. And then, by the time I beat that boss, I'll have probably 1,500 essence. And how much do you need to be able to uh, go visit your dad? Uh, 1,800. So, sorry. That always kills me when they uh, back up onto the spikes. They're like, we're going to use our cool maneuverability stuff to outmaneuver you into the spikes. Which, admittedly, is something I'm guilty of as well. Yes. Repeatedly. I sometimes laugh at you about it. Yeah. And I think that's probably why it's so cathartic when the enemies do it. It's like, it's not just me. The AI does it too. It's not just me. The entire world is deadly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting how um, damage to monsters uh, or enemies or whatever is, is, I think, calculated on an entirely different system versus what it is to the knight. Like, the knight takes one or two masks, or two or four if you're overcharmed. But monsters have, like, a, a numeric, like, decimal hit point, point total. Point hit. Yeah, exactly. Like, decimal point. Not decimal, rather. Um, but, like, uh, just, yeah, numeric hit point total. And, and so, things like spikes or exploding other monsters, like this guy here just seem to straight up kill them and I don't know how far that goes like I don't know if it would apply if you could somehow trick the game into letting you take one of those to a boss fight or something but uh, yeah it's definitely different from how it's calculated against the knight I did not change my charm loadout from you did not no it's well, yeah this is this is fine it's not great. Um, soul gathering charms against this boss are kind of dumb, but that'll be fine. <clears throat> oh, that was fun. I must have timed my shadow dash just right to not get hit by that explosion. Apparently. <laughs> this is an easy boss, so I shouldn't have to jigger my charms too much to beat him. Uh, and I say easy, and again, I have att attempted to fight him and, and decided not to. Because I wasn't quite set up right yet. <coughs> I recommended, I would say, um, Quick Slash, Unbreakable Strength, and uh, maybe a Nail Length Charm. But uh, I'm fine as is. Get a uh, holo from... Jenin, Alex. Oh. Hello, Jen and Lex. I was kind of surprised that Lex was already down for a nap this early. Uh, he got up earlier than usual, so. Ah. Uh. So I'm just gonna take advantage of this stagger and heal up some of the uh, losses I took in a foolish way. And then, as one can see, dream nailing him is good for fun and profit. Heal up a bit more. Jump into that shockwave face first. That's what you're supposed to do. No, it's not. Um, yep, absolutely. And then let him hit you on the head. Yep. Listen, I got this. Um, it's another one of those situations where if he's going to tantrum like that, I'm going to take advantage of it. Get some, uh, get some healing in. You can really tell you're a parent. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Well, if they're gonna tantrum, I'm just gonna take some time. I'm just gonna take advantage of this time to have a little time out. Yeah. There you go. That is this boss inelegantly taken down. Oh, and you can continue the dream now after he goes into his death throws animations. It's funny. In one game uh, that I was co-playing with Eevee, we killed these guys, and that kind of made me sad, because as you can see, they're a great way to just recharge your soul. I didn't look at my essence. Oh, right, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't interacted with the ghost. I, I could do without his grunts and groans as he keeps hitting the same wall. I'm sorry. There. Uh, so now I have enough essence to go get, um, I believe, a mask shard? Yes, a mask shard. Well, you were at two, so that'll give you three. And the last one is the Grey Morning Quest, which is, if I haven't mentioned it already, obnoxious. It's, uh, don't get hit. Sorry. Oh, that quest. Flower delivery. Yeah, I watched you do that twice. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, once successfully. Well, no, twice, because you got all the way there, and then you sat on a bench. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was like, oops, I uh, I prepped the area, and then I unprepped the area by sitting on a bench and respawning all the creatures. I laughed. Wow, that was kind of... That was bad. that was smooth. I, I didn't have to be there. Is the best part of that. Oh, speaking of smooth, I got stunned when I hit the ground. Yeah. Um, something I can do quickly is one more dream boss. Uh, I'm gonna take quick slash, and I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna take this on this. And go after Und this. Und this? Uh, I'm gonna go to a hidden station to get to the final of the dream bosses. There are dream warriors still in the world. Um, they're a different thing, and they can kill you and break your stuff because um, you fight them in the same world that we're in. They come to us as opposed to us going to them. The dream but boss. when you go to them, they can't hurt you permanently or right. kill you. You just get knocked out of the dream and then have to do it again. Right. Or not, as the case may be. If you decide that it's too frustrating and you're not going to succeed. So there's a bench right here. Not that it matters because it's not a proper boss fight. It's a uh, dream boss. Uh, have you seen the broken vessel fight? Uh, maybe? I don't remember. His names and me, you know. Oh, I think you were. I think you were recording with me when I did that one, actually. Well, then probably. I, I, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you were. Uh, this fella. Well, I mean, he doesn't look like anything now. <laughs> kind of flat, eh? Yeah. Uh, go along here. This is lost. Yeah, I think I did this. Or I was here for you with you for yeah. this. So this is just that guy all over again, but swings about 50 percent faster and uh, has more hit points. Poor zombie squid. Oh, whoops! <laughs> that was not the intended button press. Sure, sure. Blame your controller. No, no, it was it was my hand. <laughs> it wasn't wasn't what I meant to press. That's all. I'll have to try this again. That wasn't. Uh... Yeah, cause that that sure was your last mask. Yep, that, that wasn't great. There's a lot going on in this fight, and if you're not super in the zone, uh, if you're not one of those players, so there's a video of 
Oops. That's me being not one of those players. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to back out. I'm going to keep going. Uh, um, there's a video of a fella doing this... Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, doing this fight and doing it without a single jump or dash. This fight. Without a single jump or dash. I can't even... Alright, you got five minutes to defeat this. Yep. Or, you know, either way. Um, yeah, it was a it was a parry demonstration video, basically. Ah, uh, uh, and, and I had no soul there, so there was no sense in trying to take advantage of that and heal. This time I can heal. One. I can heal one and immediately lose it. Oh. Darn it. <laughs> I'm gonna get yeah. one more go. I mean, you did start at a two mask disadvantage in that fight. I did, I did. Um, this is, for me, a tough fight, and I know that there are people who would argue otherwise. Uh, but it just does not mesh well with my playstyle. I like to brawl, and um, yeah, this is not one of those fights. No brawling is good. Uh, if I treat him a lot like I treat the Hive Knight, Dodge his um, that, and otherwise whale on him. And he's not so bad. Uh, three minutes. I mean, in theory, no boss fight should take that long. <laughs> uh, Nightmare King Grim says otherwise. Okay, okay like. No, Elite no boss bosses fight. are not the same thing as true. a standard plot boss fight. This isn't really a standard plot boss fight, but yeah, I know what you're saying. It's not, a, it's not like a super boss. Got him. So, yeah, that's, uh, that is awesome. It should get me to 1800 essence. Um, and I'll head on up to the Seer. I don't know if I have time to actually interact with the Seer, but that's fine. Um, and Lostkin, much like our protagonist here, doesn't say anything, simply vanishes. Uh, boop. Well, that's how you know that they're kin. Right? Oh yeah, that got me well over 1800. So, now in the future, near future, I can go get uh, the... Uh, white palace i have everything yep. i need basically this was a white palace prep video because i got the uh high blood and i got enough essence to actually you know get in there uh so as when the share play ends we'll have hit uh the hour mark uh mm -hmm. in case this video ends before uh donovan stops playing uh it's been great hanging out with everybody again and, and you know, if this video ends and he's not at the Seer yet, we promise he's just going to go to the Seer, and then he'll start from there next game. Exactly. Um, but I think I'm going to make it there. Should be fine. Because I think I get a one-minute warning, and I haven't gotten that yet. Uh, resting grounds. Uh, in fact, I might even... Yeah. Yep, one there's minute. the one-minute wa warning. One minute warning. Uh, yeah, no, I've got time to make it to the Seer and get all that dialogue out of the way. Um, and then after that, it's just bench time. We're doing good. Got, uh, I guess I got the prep for the White Palace done, which can be the next session if it wants to be. That'll be fun. It can be any session from here on out, basically. The next time I can have you around, we'll do that. So 1,200. Yeah. What do we get for 1,200? I think it's something silly like a hollowness seal. Uh, arcane egg. Okay. Arcane egg. Which is worth considerably more than a hollowness seal. 1,500 is a piece of a mask. 
One left to go. The most obnoxious one to get. And then 